Land, which is the directorial debut from Robin Wright, who I've liked very much. I mean, of course, you know, Princess Bride, one of your favourite films. Mm -hmm. uh, she's Jenny in Forrest Gump. She's uh, uh, Claire in Claire Underwood in House of Cards, in which she actually directed episodes. So this is her feature film directorial debut. So she plays a woman we meet at the beginning, talking to her psychiatrist. Um, and obviously something terrible has happened in her life she retreats to a lonely cabin in the mountains of Wyoming, where she wants to be completely alone. She tells the person who takes her up and sells the place to take the car away. He says, it's not a good idea for me to take the car. He says, no, take the car away. Um, and then, of course, what she discovers is living in a cabin on your own in the mountains of Wyoming is really hard because um, the, the, the weather and everything, you know, it's very, very inclement. And, and so she, it looks like she's going to expire completely. And then out of nowhere, conveniently uh, this kind of soft-spoken fellow traveler and somebody else and who conveniently medical a nurse turns up he's played by Demi Ambachir and he basically they between the two of them they save her life and he then makes an agreement that he will teach her how to live out in the wild but he will also respect her privacy because she doesn't want to be near people at all here is a clip can we agree that my actions are my business? Yes, we can. And if I end up starving, well, that's on me. I... I feel that I have to say this. Only a person who has never been hungry would think starving is a way to die. There are better ways to die. There are better ways to die? I understand it might be a little rough for you here, but if you feel you don't belong here, then... If I don't belong here, I don't belong anywhere. Have you ever killed anything? No. A fish. If it's all right, I, I will come back here and teach you how to trap. And in the fall, to hunt. And then you won't see me anymore. Okay. Which is kind of convenient. And so the rest of the movie is him doing that. Now, here's the thing. I mean, I respect Robin Wright very much. Uh, she's a terrific actor. Um, in the case of this, if you were going to be positive about it, you'd say, well, it's obviously a heartfelt film about grief and bereavement. And it has many beautiful vistas of the this kind of wilderness that at times can be, you know, bitter and uh, terrifying and deadly and at other times can be beautiful and peaceful and calming. And it's clearly a personal film. Um, I mean, obviously, it, it's hard not to make a comparison with with Sean Penn's adaptation of Into the Wild, um, which I think is actually a, a much better film. The, the problem with this is it feels, it feels ordinary to the point of cliche, um, despite how you know, heartfelt the subject matter may be, it does feel like, like a movie that's put together in, a, in an absolute kind of tab A into slot B way. And, I think the biggest criticism of it is that at no point did I actually believe that I was watching. You remember when we talked about Wild and the most remarkable thing about Wild is that you actually believe that that character is going through all that stuff. Yeah. I mean, you know, whether it's uh, there's the moment when she loses her shoe and yes. it's it's catastrophic. And you remember that? Yes. Yeah. It's, oh, oh. And it's and it's so painful because you, you know, you're watching a film and you know that it's a film with a movie star, but you really believe that's happening. Well, in the case of Land, I never believed that I was watching anything other than Robin Wright, who I respect very much as, a, as an actor, making a movie that obviously, you know, is has a personal heartfelt, uh, you know, uh, story, but just looked like, okay, yeah, so this is the one when you retreat from the civilization and go and live in a cabin, and then Demian Bashir turns up and is helpful. And there are, I mean, there are a couple of 
plot moments in which I think the film thinks that you don't know that that's happening, but you kind of do. And flashback sequences that come very, very close to being, you know, uh, uh, eau de parfum by you know by calvin klein um which is it's a mean way of saying it but the thing was i i just think i expected something that was going to be interesting and intriguing and artistic and what i got was something that looked nice but was just utterly predictable and eau de parfum. honestly quite dull you know you know though you know what to go infinity by calvin klein i don't know whatever you call it i don't wear perfume i you know <laughs> I don't. I know it's a. It's a not an unmanly thing to do, but it's just. It's just not. You know. A bit I, of old I spice had under the armpits. Down. That'll do it. Yeah. What was it? What was the one that which was for the man who doesn't have to try too hard? Oh. Links wow. was it? Links something like that. No, Links Fruit. was for the man who's trying desperately hard, wasn't it? 